Oh, hello YouTubers. What's this they say? It's a cup of tea. Very British, very civilised. Well, I guess it was in India and then the British came along and put milk and two sugars in it and ruined it. Anyway guys, let's just get that out of the way. A bit of my crappy humour. Um, welcome to an introduction to my next build. Um, those of you who follow my channel, I have finished Bowfighter, but at the moment my son is over for the week for half term and has commandeered the desktop PC, which has got most of the files on it. And uh, I don't think there's actually a lot left. Um, are we up to part six on that, I think? But I thought I'd do a little intro video for my next build. Something totally different. Well, not too different, it's still an aircraft. But anyway, what is it, I hear you wonder. something else equally British, the Harrier. Um, gosh, first flew as the P1127 Kestrel way back in the 60s and now sadly out of use in the RAF I believe. I don't know if the, I don't even think the um, Royal Navy use them anymore but I think they're still used in America as the AV-8B, something we've managed to sell to America. Well, or they've license built it. Anyway, it's just the uh, Hasegawa GR Mark 7 um i haven't built a house to go kit for years and years so uh, we'll see how we get on with this uh, and there's a few other goodies as well uh, i've got uh their etch cockpit set don't know how much i'll use out of it just to color it up a little bit um, that. I've also got their brass inset as well. Sadly they don't seem to do all the etch that they did in their uh, limited edition 7.9 a few years ago but uh, don't even ask me what these bits are called, these, these pods I don't know. But it's got the pods, um, as I say I don't know what they are, to, I'll be totally honest I think one's a laser designator I'm not sure. It's got uh, resin wheels and hubs, um, it's got new outrigger ends um what else we got? we've got new uh the rotating nozzles and we've got a nice ejection seat canopy mask decals for the pods and bits to tie the seat up and belts and whatnot so that's quite a nice little set as i say trying to challenge myself a little bit more on each build but perhaps really i should do more basic builds till i get my um Get my experience up. I want it shut now. Look at that. Oh, there we go. Pop that back. I also got some aftermarket decals. Um, one of them is on the included already in the box, but these are by Model Alliance. There's a couple on there that I really liked. Um, I won't show you the decal. Well, I will show you the decals, but I'm not taking the tissue off. That's one sheet, I think another one with a huge shark mouth on there, which doesn't do the Harrier any justice to be honest, so I won't be using that one. And hopefully you can see that's the one with the shark mouth. Anyway, we'll, we'll just go through what they are. You've got here, it's the BR, BAE, sorry, Harrier GR7, the first 10 years. You've got a Larbrook one here, which was a 1993 display scheme. You've got, um, that was ZG531, and you've got ZD432, uh, which was based at uh, RAF Wittering in 1992. Then you've got the G ZG501 Air Warfare Centre, Boscombe Down, 1994. When I lived in the West Country, I wasn't too far from Boscombe Down, so that's that's a possibility to be a green Jaguar. Uh, Jaguar? Harrier. Harrier. What am I on about? And you got this shark mouth one, which is ZD408, which was uh, based in Turkey during Operation Warden in 1995. Uh, I think there's quite a few mistakes in these instructions here. We've got here, painted in the RTF light grey over the standard two-tone grey camouflage. Note this temporary camouflage scheme soon weathered and the green was soon seen in patches. I'm sure I mean grey in patches. Uh, the large shark mouth only lasted a short time and it can be modelled with or without it. And we go to a standard two-tone greys. Um, you've got ZD-464, again, based over in Turkey during Operation Warden. And we've got um, ZD-321 at uh, RAF Cottesmore. 
1999 and then you got the ZG503 um, same um, one squadron, three squadron, RF, Cosmos, that one and you got four squadron at Cosmos, all the same years uh, pretty basic two-tone greys and then another one at RF Wittering which is ZD434 quite like the one with the blue tail which I believe is in the kit actually so that's got both options of transfers uh, this was based at RF Wittering in 2001 and we got another one which was a Boscombe Down aircraft which was a strike attack operational evaluation unit in 1999 uh, then we got a display aircraft I believe is this a display one no sorry this is four squadron at Cottesmore ZD ZD470 oh yeah Harrier display scheme there you are it's got quite a nice big flash for the tail which is all one decor I expect you saw there and then the last one which I like was a green tail I think it's green being color line is again a Cottesmore Harrier in 2002 and it's their 90th anniversary scheme which is quite a nice one I quite like that one but they don't tell you what paint what <laughs> type of green it is anywhere and then you've got like a three view and it gives you the colors again there's another mistake I've noticed down here you've got dark camouflage gray and I've knew the BS BS 381C number is 629 and dark sea gray which has got the same 629 but they're obviously different colors because the color call outs for the model paints are actually different so i believe underneath it is oh no that's something else it's dark camouflage gray not dark sea gray and then the other ones are nato iir dark green and liching green it is not liching green as they put there and then it's just a little bit of blurb on the back of that so that's that and then while we're on the subject of colours, I've been looking through to see what I've got and what I haven't got. I've ordered the uh, Hataka RAF modern paint sets to use, um, which are lacquer based, but I was having to look through to see what I've got, not that one. I was just showing my son these and saying, is it any wonder that I get confused? Because you've got a model colour here and a model air here, look, both called dark sea grey, totally different colours that must be the correct dark sea grey no tell a lie this oh now i'm really confused again now because these have got fs numbers on there one of them somewhere this one dark grey has got a bs number so it's all very confusing because i thought that was um, what the ones called out for on here as i said i sat there this morning and thoroughly confused myself what are they after there after six two nine on both of them so I'm still as wise because I've got to find out what the other one is but uh, yeah not the best I know one's model air and one's model colour but there you go anyway guys oh what's this one here this is a BS number as well that's medium sea grey which is 637 but I know all the right paints are in the Hataka set that's coming so anyway guys hope you enjoyed that little ramble and um, I'm going to make a start on some of the build now so don't know when that will be up it will be up at some time. Cheers.